The following video focuses on the issues that need to be addressed at the primary school as well as information about the district's master facilities plan and the Highway A property. The primary building, which is the district's kindergarten through second grade building, is in need of restroom upgrades that will make them ADA compliant. In order to improve the safety and security of the primary building, the entrances would be restricted and the building main offices and nurses office would be relocated to the current music rooms. This is necessary to ensure that when visitors come to the buildings, they do not gain access to the rest of the building prior to going to the office. The current music rooms would be relocated to a new room within the building. To further upgrade the safety and secure the primary, security film would be placed on the windows at entry locations and the upgrading of security cameras and access keypads. The construction of 10 additional classrooms will also be included in the long range plans. Upgrades to interior finishes as well where needed. One of the top priorities of the district will be to pay off the Highway A property. In 2005, the district responded to enrollment projections and increased subdivision development by entering into a 20-year lease agreement for 55 acres on Highway A at the corner of Sandy Valley Road. Just as times have changed, needs have changed as well, and the district has not experienced the growth that previous boards had projected. Our current board consulted with outside groups such as financial advisors, architects, and attorneys to determine what is the best course of action for the district and what options are available to them, including paying off the lease in the terms as agreed, walking away from the lease, and paying the lease off early, all were considered. Should Proposition Hawks pass, the financial advisor will structure the lease to pay off the bonds early that were obligated for the Highway A property with potential interest savings to the district projected to be over $300,000. For the last 16 months, the Hillsboro R3 Facilities Planning Committee has been developing an enrollment-based long-range facilities plan. In the spring of 2016, the community was asked to rank what the most effective ways to provide and maintain appropriate instructional resources, support services, and functional safe facilities as part of the comprehensive school improvement plan. The community told us that three priorities should be focus on safety and security with the addition of security cameras and alert systems, increase access and utilization of district technology, and finally, increase square footage of current facilities to accommodate student growth to reduce class sizes. On April the 4th, the voters of the Hillsborough R3 School District will be asked to approve a no tax increase bond issue for $12 million. Thanks to the district's conservative budgeting, we have enough room in our debt service levy to issue bonds to cover the cost of many of the items on the long range facilities plan. Because of our board's careful money management and good financial stewardship of taxpayer dollars, the district has paid off some of our other bonds and is now able to borrow money for these projects with a no tax increase. While the district is not building any new schools, other projects are needed to maintain and improve other current facilities. The focus will be on code compliance, safety and security, technology, and learning and wellness. The Hillsborough Facilities Planning Committee, in cooperation with the district's architects, have developed a comprehensive long-range plan. The development of the master planning matrix has identified district and building needs while assigning a priority level to the projects based on immediacy and needs and costs. It is necessary to prioritize the items because of the cost variances. The $12 million that will be available for projects may not cover all projects outlined in the long range facility plan, so it's important to prioritize the needs for maximum benefit and cost effectiveness with taxpayer dollars. The bond issue will provide the district with the financial resources to focus on completing the needs outlined in the long range facilities plan. Each building will be impacted in some way and the scope of the issues addressed will be based on building needs outlined in the plan. As you can see, we have many needs in our district. The Hillsborough R3 School District is grateful to our community for the support throughout the years. We encourage you to vote on Tuesday, April the 4th, 2017. For more information about our upcoming bond issue, please visit the district website at www.hsdr3.org. This was an informational video regarding the Proposition Hawks bond issue. This video was created by the Hillsborough R3 School District.